couple of weeks ago I bought this uh, Ace Beam X80. It's rated at 25,000 lumens. Um, the second most powerful soda can configuration flashlight in the world. The most powerful actually, it's it, uh, its little brother, the Ace Beam X80 GT. That comes in at 32,500 lumens. The reason why they call it a soda can configuration is if I was to place it up like that and grab a can, you can see the can is actually a little bit taller than the light itself. Now the reason why I bought this um, Ace Beam X80, it's got some very, very cool coloured LEDs. Firstly, we'll go through the UI, which is just a normal cool white version of uh, the LEDs in here. So if you press and hold, that's 150 lumens. And hold it down again, 850 lumens. Hold again, that's 2700 lumens. Hold again, that's 5000 lumens. And if we double click, that takes us to 11,300 lumens. And if we double click again, that's the full capacity of 25,000 lumens. That's completely whiting out my bedroom here. And if we turn it off, now we're going to go through the uh, coloured LEDs. So press and hold. Okay, so we've got firstly the red LED. Apparently this is good for uh, making your way in the dark, so not to disturb your night vision. If your eyes are adjusted to the dark, this is actually what you'd uh, use around the campsite, around the tent. You know, if you don't want to uh, wake up your your neighbours or someone sleeping next to you. And Rondo Red also, apparently red is the international colour of distress. So if you're in trouble somewhere, you'd use an SOS type signal and you'd have the colour red on. So we press and hold next color is green apparently this is the brightest of all the colors the red green and blue and this is used uh, predominantly in the states to actually track uh, animals apparently the animals and um, fish and deer cannot see the green light so you can actually get really uh, close to them if you're a uh, hunting game and actually if uh, wounded animals if you're trekking through the bush and searching for a wounded animal. It doesn't really know you're coming up behind it. So green's pretty much used for hunting. Press and hold again. Okay, the blue light. Blue lights are used for uh, pilots, especially for reading maps uh, as they're flying. And it's the only color out of the three colors that um, can cut through fog. And also, it's, uh, I read somewhere that uh, this is a, a great color to... Uh, to track wounded animals as well. They don't really pick up on the blue light. Now, the most impressive thing about this light is it has a UV light, which is a black light. And it won't really come through the camera. And I'm gonna to have to pause here to turn the lights completely off. But uh, UVs, as we all know, for um, crime scene investigations, uh, picking up traces of blood and semen and everything like that. But also, uh, UV black lights used for antique furniture to see whether or not um, there's counterfeit uh, furniture, paintings, and I read somewhere for counterfeit money. So I decided to get a $5 note just to see if anything comes up on the Australian $5 note that can't be seen with the naked eye. So what I'll do, I'll pause here and turn the light off and see if we can pick up anything. Okay, I've got a $5 note here, and what I'm going to do, in this corner just here, as you can see now, there's nothing really showing up down the bottom here, apart from some signatures, but no, no, nothing holographic down the bottom here. So I'm going to turn the light off, shine the UV flashlight on it, and see what we can pick up. Now, how cool is that? So if you've got one of these five new $5 notes, you cannot see this through your naked eye. The only way you can pick this up is through UV or black light. It looks like a honey eater on a wattle tree or a banksia tree. 
uh, feeding. Now, I don't care how many white lights or torches or stick it up in the sun, this will not actually come through unless you turn the lights off and stick a UV light on it. If we actually just put it down for a second and turn the banknote around, there's another thing on the back here. The actual date that comes up there, which is the 2016, once again, if I was to turn the light on or shine a torch on it or place it up towards the sun, you cannot see that 2016, the year 2016. That is so, so cool. So what I'll do, I'll turn the light back on again. Okay, as you can see now, the 2016 was just up here somewhere. Cannot see it. And if we s turn that around, so down the bottom here was where that honey eater was on the wattle tree eating the banksy or whatever it was so there's nothing there so I, I thought it might have been this up here but it's not okay so there's absolutely nothing there i don't think it'll pick it up with the light on oh there it is okay so there you go i've got the uh, bedroom light on and it's not as impressive with the lights off but it comes on once you push the put the uv black light on it how cool is that so if you've got a blue black light or a UV light at home, get these five dollar notes. It's got a particular got to be a particular five dollar note. I think this is um, uh, can't be really counterfeited. This uh, this five dollar note. So that's why they've got that there. I'll just turn the light off one more time because it actually comes up more impressive with the lights off. I actually you can actually see the UV now with the light off. Look at that. How cool is that? I don't have any 10s or 20s or $50 notes here, so I'm, I'm very keen to see what actually comes up on those. Looks like um, some other things are showing up too, if you actually shine it in the middle there. So if there's anything impressive on the uh, 20s and 50s and 10s, I might make another video to actually see what comes up on that. 